Earth has not forgotten. Sweet. Okay. Great. That was cool. And yes, a little, a little bit scary. <laughs> hey, Edgar the Slayer. You played this, but you didn't get through. Well, good. I need somebody here that has played the game before. <laughs> um, I hope it's going to be a little more forgiving than Fallout 1. Fallout 1, I actually knew, like, some of the stuff I had to do. And, uh, so it was maybe a little bit easier for me to get through the game. But this game, I have no flipping clue. So, new game! Alright. Uh, so, there are pre-made characters. Chitza, Narg. There's only one girl. What is she? Always been able to convince others to do things her way. Her winning personality and stunning good looks have often caused others to underestimate the tribe's best traitor. Oh, okay. Speech barter and first aid. Sex appeal. I don't know. What kind of a character should we make? I guess I should have, um... Like, thought about this beforehand, maybe? <laughs> You played quite a bit. I take it you were not using restoration mod. No mods. Zero mods. Uh, there was an option to install an HD like texture pack from the Steam version, but I don't think I'm running it because it was acting odd. I'm just running the normal executable. So I assume it's not on the normal executable because there was a separate like uh, HD executable. Arcanum playthrough next. I'll probably play that at some point. All right, we can make a character. Uh, create a character. Let's see. Man. So I don't like the problem. I built my first character in Fallout One around the fact that I knew that I was going to get energy weapons. So I'm not sure if like the same rules apply in this game. I have no idea. I'm just gonna make. Uh, Is this my name? It's my name, right? None? None name! Cheese Quee! <laughs> Damn it, it doesn't fit! Uh, uh oh. The stream is. Is the stream. Is this stream being weird? I just got a buffering thing. I hope it's fine. Never go with good luck for special encounters and bloody mess trade. Can, you mean can never go wrong with it? Average completion is time 84 hours. 84 hours! Chesaqui? Oh, Chesaqui. Will that fit? <laughs> that kind of fits, doesn't it? Hey, it fits! Alright. Call me Chess for short, which is short for cheese. What's wrong with ch with cheese qui? <laughs> Top end weapon is a gauss rifle which falls under small arms. Okay. She's uh, You know what? Um Let's just make cheeserella. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be, we're, <laughs> I think I'm gonna change this, wait. Uh, <laughs> a little on the nose to love cheese so much and also be from Wisconsin. No, what are you talking about? Everyone loves cheese. <laughs> Not just people from Wisconsin. All right, we're gonna we'll be cheeserella because I think mul multiple people typed that one. I don't know. Apparently, there's something wrong with Chesaqui. <laughs> oh, from All right, you guys are great. We're just gonna be cheese cheeserella because I want to move. I want to get a move on here. All right, so small guns. Chesarella. 
male named Chizarella. Now we're gonna be a girl. Of course. And, uh, let's see. Bloody mess. By some strange twist of fate, people around you violently die. I'll always see the worst way a person can die. I mean, that's pretty fun in the game. It is. I don't think I had that last time, though. So that might be interesting. What was the other one that you said? One-hander. One of your hands is very dominant. You excel with single-handed weapons, but two-handed weapons cause a problem. That's kind of neat. Cheese of the day is Roaring Forties Blue. Ooh. Sounds good. Put that on a nice steak salad. By not paying attention to any threats, you can act a lot faster in a turn. This lowers your armor class to just what you are wearing, but you sequence sequence much faster in a combat turn. Interesting. I never slowed you down. You carry as much, but you are less agile. Excel with single-handed weapons. Um... I like the critical hit build, too. I kind of did that in the first game. Jinx can be fun, too, if you hate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing is everyone around you has more critical failures. The bad thing is so do you. <clears throat> I think we'll probably take bloody mess, maybe. Oh, wait. How am I not? Oh, we only get to pick one. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Okay. I'm tagging them. Got it. So, also, um, small guns. Probably will do finesse again. I, I like that one. And then, uh, so crit chance is based on... Is it just based on your weapon skill, I assume? So if I increase this... No. But we'll tag... I think we'll tag small guns. Hmm. Ranged combat distance modifiers. Oh, that's good too. Is this all the same as the first game? Never rely on luck in real life. I know how luck works. Look at how to fight with bandits. <laughs> luck is really fun in Fallout. All right, we'll do small guns. Hi, Ever Ever Jance. Sorry to butcher your name like always. Like I always do. Small gun speech and whatever you want. Speech? Speech? Um. Ability to lie and not get caught. I mean, I guess that is pretty fun. I'll do that for you guys. But personally, I don't mind being bad at speech. I really don't. It's kind of fun when you fail, in my opinion. High luck, you can get some great special encounters with bad luck. Oh boy, there are a few. Oh, I actually, I read that there were some really cool random encounters in this game. I kind of want to do that. Good. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, agility. I think I want to bump up agility. Maybe perception. I could take away something too. I could take away strength. If I'm gonna be more of a uh Hello Campbell, what's up? <laughs> the Raiders will have heard about you and your honeyed words. <laughs> I heard about you and your honeyed words. 
more of an action guy. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't know. It all it depends. It depends. Because I like to build, like, a certain character that makes sense. Not just, like, I don't like to take the best skill or the best skills all the time. But I guess this is my first playthrough of the game. So it's kind of nice to be able to be decent at it. Um... It's gonna be annoying though if I bump down strength because I hate not having carry weight. I just, I really do. Oh, that bumps my hit points up too. By one. Perception I want. Endurance. Hit points, poison, rad resistance, healing rate. I always go with 10 luck and three ints. You're gonna have so many dialogue options with such low ints. Really? What would you do if your vault's cheese supply spoiled? We would go on a quest to find more cheese for the vaults. That's what we would do. <laughs> Alright. What are you saying? What are you saying? Ten luck and three in? Ten luck? Very good. Let's do like eight luck and. Okay, wait. A high intelligence is important for any character modifiers. The number of new skill points per level. Dialogue options and many skills. I thought the more int, the more dialogue options. Is it the opposite? I mean, I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be like really stupid. I think that, I think that, yeah, you're saying, you're saying that I would be bad, right? I am going to be a wimpy person. I'll be a wimpy, really smart, lucky person. <laughs> well, not really smart. Average smart, agile, perceptive person. I've got two left. Let's be even more agile. I thought one of these stats increased criticals. Is it just luck that does that? Or is it based on something else? Sequence and range combat distance modifiers. I want to have more of that. Oh, give me more! There are cybernetics to increase each side of the game. I think only luck might not be on the list. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't want to be that, like, weird. Okay? I want to be sort of weird. I'll be really lucky and agile. But I don't want to be, like, that weird. Maybe charisma. Since I'm doing speech, I don't know. Sorry this is taking so long. I probably should have planned this ahead of time. Let's just do like more, per oops, more perception. We'll be really good at shooting with our guns and average at everything else. Oh. There's a requirement for strength. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine because... Or there's a requirement for power armor. But yeah, that's fine because... I hate not having strength anyway. It pisses me off when I can't carry stuff. So... <laughs> I'm gonna actually bump charisma down one more. And put it into strength, I think. Good strength, good perception... Meh, because we're tagging speech. So speech will be high. Anyway. Perception actually reveals more of the map as you walk throughout during the fallout. Perception, it says it also is important, important for shooting. Ranged combat distance modifiers, which I think is going to be really important. Like chance to hit from far away. Especially if I'm going to do small guns. That'll be cool. Okay. Does this look okay, everyone? Are, is everyone okay with, with Cheezarella's stats here? Seven armor class, eight action points. Decent carry weight. 18% crit chance. Oh, I have one more tag skill. I have one more tag skill. Um, hmm. 
let's see, what goes with this kind of character? I did lockpick last time, I think. I don't know. In Fallout 1, I mean. I could steal from everyone. That could be fun. Could sneak as well. Or I could do unarmed and punch things. That's, that's already really high. Is that because I have high strength? Melee weapons. Yeah, lockpick is kind of meh. Yeah, it is. It is. I kind of want to... Maybe I'll do steel. Or, like... A limb sedative became one with the cheese. Oh! Thanks for following. I forgot... Sorry, excuse me a second, everyone. Something happened while we were watching the intro video. Uh, and I heard the Max Payne music going off. Which means it was a donation. So let me just check really quick here. Holy crap! What? Boogie? <laughs> Thank you so much, dude! I wish you would have done that not during the intro video so it would have popped up on the on the stream unless you didn't want it to pop up on the stream. But thank you so much. Wow. Very, very generous donation. And I think you donated last time too. You're amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really sorry that I almost forgot to thank you for that. Whoa. That would have been an error. All right. Um, yeah. You're still here, right? Because otherwise, if you're not, I have to message you. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, dude. Um, anyway, let's do... Oh, what about... Throwing could be fun. Oh, grenades. Oh, okay. We're doing it. I want to I wanna throw grenades. <laughs> that That's it. All right, so... Cheeserella, go! I w does bloody mess work with grenades? Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. Okay. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. Those don't look like children. <laughs> However, a slim <laughs> hope that few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Yes. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. <laughs> this will be your quest if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Find the Gek. So our quest is to find the Garden of Eden creation kit, huh? Okay. Cool. By the way, the uh, the resolution is only weird like in this screen, but once we get in the temple, it's gonna look better. Excuse me, one second again. I'm just gonna move down over there. All right, cool, cool beans. All right, is my is that me walking around randomly? All right, cool. We can run. They look more like Smeagles than children. Yeah, those were some creepy children. What the hell? Thing keeps falling off. <sighs> okay, so yeah, the aspect ratio is slightly strange, but only in this screen. So don't worry, once we get in the temple, it fixes itself. I don't know why it does that. Hello, friend. Good day to you, Cheezarella. You have not completed the trial of the elder and may not pass. Okay, then I'm off to take the test. All right, let's go take the trial, and if we if we succeed, then we can go back to Grandma. Children are not adorable in the future. <laughs> okay, so am I understanding the game correctly uh, from the intro video that the town 
we come from. Oh, hi, Ant. Hello, Mr. Ant. The town we come from is actually... Go into options, menu, and tweak gameplay a bit. Okay, sure, I'll do that. But is the town the town that we come in, come from Arroyo or whatever that was founded by the vault dweller that from the previous game, right? So are we like a descendant of them or something? <laughs> a spear. All right. Options, preferences. Monsters in the temple might poison you. I think you should save a lot here. Okay, I will. Good tip. Thank you. Uh, combat messages, verbose. We can up the combat speed a little. That might be nice. I think I did that before. Text delay. So let me know if I need to change into the audio, by the way. Now that we're in the game and stuff. Normal's fine. Violence, maximum blood. <laughs> I wonder if YouTube will get mad if I have it on maximum blood when I put it over on YouTube. <laughs> That'd be just silly. But I wouldn't- I actually wouldn't be surprised, though. Combat looks. What does that mean? Combat lo looks. Subtitles on. Running. Yeah. Nah, I can't remember. I think I had it on always. Hmm. I think I did last time. I think I liked it on. Language filter off. <laughs> Ludicrous amounts of blood. All right, sounds good, Silverleaf. Arroyo is crappy village founded by your grandma, grandpa and grandma. Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. But was my grandpa slash grandma the vault dweller from the first game? All right, is that fine? Done. All right. Hello. I have to move up here. You see Clint, a fellow tribesman. Oh, that was the guy outside. I gotta remember to read this this stuff down here. It's hard, it's easy for me to forget. Poke. Poke. Oh, okay, cool. Arroyo is Spanish for river. Oh, I did not know that. I wonder if I'd be better just punching this guy. I think I have pretty good unarmed skill. Yeah. Let's see how long Lilia can go without getting poisoned. I'll save after this ant. Die, ant. Die. All right. Save. I wonder if the quick save function actually works in this game. Because, uh, like, there was a quick save function in Fallout 1, but it did not work for quick man <sighs> All right. uh, I'm gonna experiment with that f5 and then we assign a slot right oh that's oh f5 is load okay so f6 there we go okay so let's pick that for quick save and then if we hit f6 again it works okay hopefully it works <laughs> Fun fact, before patches, it took 10 to 15 minutes for a game to load upon release. I'm not surprised. I remember games back then, man. I would I would play Final Fantasy XI on dial-up. Uh, the, online, the online one, the MMO. And uh, holy crap. I can't believe the patience that I had back then. But it's just how things were, you know? Hello. Oh. Hello, Mr. Rad Scorpion. Maybe I should use a, wait a second. Where are my, I think I'm gonna use this because it'll have more damage to actually run away. <laughs> Where do I see my skills? Oh, character. Final Fantasy XI was horrible. It's horrible now. It was, it was pretty fun back in the day. If you like that kind of game, but it's definitely not for everyone. That is definitely for sure. Oh, there's another guy over there. 
Is there any... Okay. Th oh, I can throw! Sweet! Okay, wait. Um... Thrust. Take that, stupid scorpion. So what is that other scorpion doing, anyways? Take all. Should I kill him, or does it not matter? Is he just not seen me? Is there a... There's nothing to, like, highlight things, is there? I don't think so. Poison avoided for now. That's right. So, but it's still worth killing dudes, right? Because we get experience every time we kill something in this game, I'm pretty sure. But I'll just skip that Scorpio. Scorpion. Hmm, I wonder... If I throw my spear, am I then able to, like, walk up and get it back <laughs> so I can throw it again? Oh, hi! Ouch. Damn it, I got the poison, guys. It's happened. Um, well, everyone knows that you should aim for the tail, right? But that's a really low chance to hit. <laughs> Just oh, okay. Run away. So if I'm poisoned, does that mean I'm gonna die? <laughs> like, do I have no choice but to die right now, or what? Twenty-eight. I don't need you to miss, friend. You're supposed to not miss. It's okay. If we die, we'll just reload, you know? Those, but lose those extra HP usually a lot, if I remember correctly. Poison can be lethal, okay? I don't know why I'm doing this. I should just, just turn this off. Thrust. You would like to hear my new goals for the year? Come a long way. Thank you, El Noob. I appreciate it. Um, actually, you can probably expect a vlog soon about that kind of thing. Um, I'm almost at my next goal for Patreon, and I have a video I'm planning to make, which will probably include a lot of that chatting, so. Coming soon. Can you please freaking die? Thank you. Okay, we're almost dead. Do I have a stim pack? No, I have nothing. <laughs> okay. Well then. Maybe I should not save in case I die horribly. Is there anything like to loot in the corners and stuff? <laughs> Burn it with fire. Okay, well, I don't have first aid or doctor. I bet there's loot over here, because the game is probably really mean like that. I could throw my spear. Am I going to take damage over time? It looks like... Can I rest? Oh, right, of course. <laughs> I don't have a pit boy yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll inherit it. Did I miss stuff over here? Oh, ants. Let's kill the ants. Maybe there's some loot over here. Hello, ant. You're easy to kill. Oh, there's two of you. Okay. Gonna eat my words with that one, aren't I? Now I'm getting flanked by ants. Ow. Does this game have gambling in it? Like, can you cheese the game like in the first one? Blocked. Come on, dude. Just hit the freaking ant. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, we did it. 
sort of kind of All right, one more ant. Is the poison going to make you explode into a billion pieces because you have a bloody mess? I hope so. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I believe it does have gambling, but I might be wrong. There's a whole town built on gambling while well, on all, vice all vices. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, Mr. Ant, prepare to meet your doom. Oh, you so met your doom. Is there anything in this basket? What's this? Healing magic? Bring sleep to you. Hell yeah. Let's take healing magic. Will that cure my poison? What's this? Nothing out of the ordinary, huh? Alright, let's try using this. I wonder what it does. Healing powder. Use on me. Oh, well, okay. It's a healing potion. Great. It's awesome. All right, let's get let's get going. Uh, we're still poisoned, so I think I'll just do a big save. Poison. There we go. Say goodbye to some print deception for now. Oh, is that what poison does? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it does make sense, right? I'm I'm completely distracted by. Uh, oh, it's locked. Okay. Can I lockpick it? Or do I need to, to? Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, healing powder lowers perception. Oh, okay. Good to know. I raised a plate. Oh, I see a raised plate. What is it doing? Okay. Apparently my perception is still okay enough to spot these traps. So we've got a chest in there. And a rad scorpion. Two rad scorpions. I can disarm said plates. Ooh, do I get experience for doing that? Oh, there's an ant there as well. Let's go back. Man, you're slow. I'm just gonna wait again. Okay. You can do it! Blocked. Damn it. <laughs> can I just have a gun, please? Alright, we did it. I want to try throwing this. I cannot throw it because why? Because I have no range? Take that! So does he- is he gonna have it now? In his inventory? Oh, there it is! Found it! Aha! Sweet! This armor gives you 20 XP. Well then. Get 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 a disarming. Let's use traps on it. It should be F4, right? Fail. Is it F4? No. Is it just 4? Yeah, okay, 4. Give me that sweet XP game. There we go. Oh god, sorry. Oh wait, can I pick these up? No. Oh wait, yes? 
Oh, check that out. Man, this game must have been so awesome to play back in the day. Give me. Oh my god. <laughs> Disarming traps with lower perception. This is the best way to play the game. Ow. I avoided it though, it's fine. Let's go pick it up. I'm getting free projectiles. Look at all these spears I can throw. It's awesome. I'm done. I'm done doing that. Let's throw a spear at the scorpion. Thrust. Throw. Ha ha! He was hit for three! Move back. He didn't move? He looks wounded. Well, good. He better be wounded. One for throw, one for melee, or melee, or melee? Melee? <laughs> Alright, I'm out of throwing. Unless I want to switch to this. I'll throw this at him. Take that! Okay, now we're going to have to punch him. It's fine though. Strong punch, that's all we got. Okay. It's fine. Just punch him. Yeah! Take that, Mr. Red Scorpion. Okay. Let's pick up all my stuff. Where's the other ones? <laughs> I don't see them. Oh, there's one. If you switch to another weapon slot, you can do kicks. Oh, cool. Pick it up. Okay. What do you got for me? Hey! The game knew I was going to be horribly injured. It's nice. Thanks, game. Okay. That's terrifying. Chunk of Cordex, military brand of plastic explosives. Ooh. That's something I never got to play with in the first game. I want to test that out in this game for sure. For sure. All right, let's just throw these guys, and then I will um, try kicking some ants, maybe. Hello, Mr. Ants. Uh, I'll just thrust at him, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. I'll just change my plan entirely. Go over here. I want to try throwing this at you, friend. Stop following me so far. Okay. Throw it. Mwahaha. You're dead. You done goofed, Mr. Ant. Okay, there's another chest over there. If I take another healing powder, will my perception go down even more, or does it not stack? You want a piece of me, Mr. Ant? 
Take that. And then don't take that. Ha ha ha. Throwing is fun. I, I'm excited for grenades. Mm, spears. Do I still have my main spear? Alright, that's fine. Let's go kill this ant real quick. Can you eat the ants? No. I don't think so. They don't drop anything, so... Ow. What the hell? Kill it. Okay, let's test let's test um the debuff stacking thing here. So right now we've got five perception. Can I just use this? Yeah. Oh it does stack! Hooray! <laughs> it does. Well, that's good to know, I guess. See, now it's making me pick a quick save slot again instead of actually saving the game. Why? I already picked a quick save slot game. That's what it was doing in the first game too. Maybe I'm just dumb and don't understand how it works. My poison did run out. Yes, it did. So it appears it just does like a certain amount of damage. And then leaves, or or maybe lasts for a certain amount of time, rather than having to be cured. Let's open this chest, see what we get. We got an antidote, just as our poison ran off, wore off. Well, that's fine though, because now next time we get poisoned, we have an antidote. See a raised plate, you see a metal door. It's impenetrable. Where is the raised plate? I don't see. It. Oh. Not that one. I'm slightly unperceptive right now, friends. I saw a raised plate for a second. I believe you need to explode the impenetrable wall. Oh, is that what it gave me a plastic explosive for? Oh. Boom. Set timer for 20 seconds. Drop it. Run away, away to America. Thank you so much for coming, Boogie. Have a great night. Thank you again for the amazingly tremendous donation. I really appreciate it. Anyways, that was correct also, by the way. Thank you, thank you, friends. Thank you. Whoever said that. Edgar. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Jerk. Jerk ants? Alright, what's over here? Oh, another chest. Explosives make everything better. So true. So true. They don't make cheese better. I mean, an explosion of cheese is not necessarily a bad thing, though. You know, if you think about it that way. Okay, that's a scorpion. Fine, I'll assign the, the slot again to be a quick save. There you go. Are you happy, game? Hello. Forty-three percent. Eh. Eh. I missed. He didn't do anything. Why did he not do anything? Ow. It's fine. I have an antidote. If we get poisoned again, guys. Although it, oh, it didn't really seem to affect me that much. Although I guess I did have healing powder, but still. Thank you. 
Like, it didn't seem to be reducing my HP too bad. This... This, uh... Is a little bit more dangerous, though, because I'm pretty low on HP right now. How much of the cheese would be vaporized in the explosion, though? But... What if it's an explosion of cheese, you know? Like, not fire, cheese. <laughs> then none of it would be vaporized, and it would be a very pleasant, explosive experience. Alright, Mr. Stupid Scorpion. Um, I'm gonna... Try throwing this at his... I guess, just his carapace. I hit it for four hit points! I did it, guys! Let's do... Oh. There's no kick option. That's probably because I'm not good at melee, maybe. I'm guessing. Can I go get my spear? <laughs> no rib lactose intolerant people. As long as they didn't eat it, they'd be fine. <laughs> You're, you're injecting cheese? Whoa, that's hardcore, dude. That is some serious cheese addictions right there. Falcon punch. Yes, I did it! Okay, so throwing throwing is legit. It matter. It makes a difference. Where's my spear? There it is. I need that. I'm waiting for one of these chests to have a trap on them and just kill me. Yay! Let's go to three perception. So, can I not rest without a pit boy? Because that's stupid. I'm just saying. If, if you have two spears, only throw one. I'm. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. I thought I could rest in the map screen, but... Clearly, I'm in, like, the tutorial area, which will not allow me to rest. Yes, I know I'm poisoned again. I'm using cheese suppositories. <laughs> when you loot, there is a take all button. Yes, there is. You are correct. I saw that. I did that. I did it. Maybe not the last time, but I've been doing it. Oh! Thank you, friend, for the donation. Corpse Hatch. Very generous of you. Thank you so much, dude. You know what, though? I changed that to be Fallout-themed. And it's not. It's still playing Max Payne. So, what the heck? I'm gonna check on it here. One second, friends. Oh, that was a test. Wait, it worked! It worked there? What the heck? That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Why is it not doing that when other people do it? Is it because... Oh, I know why! Okay. Because I'm... Haha! -ha. I figured it out. It's because I had a variation, and uh, I forgot that I had a variation, so it's <laughs> it was using that. All right. Anyways, sorry, friends. Sorry. I just wanted to be fallouty. Okay, it's important to me. Fallout two contains contains cheesy poofs. Whoa, cheesy poofs. I mean, it's closer than zero cheese, I guess. An empty... Oh, God. I hate when that happens. <laughs> You're doing some dodgy tax avoidance thing. It didn't actually donate to myself. It's just the alert test. It said this is a test donation underneath it, in case you didn't see. No more Numenera. Oh, Numenera. I don't know. I, I, I've been... I didn't want to do that because uh, I've been away from it for so long and I don't have any... I don't remember what was going on at all, so... 
I might play more, though, at some point. Greetings, Cheezarella. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. But I only have 9 HP. I need a moment. <laughs> Excuse me while I drop my perception down even farther. Don't mind me. All right. Uh, switch. Oh, there's a kick. There's a kick. Okay. Hello. I, I think I'm ready. Excellent. Your equipment will be kept in the truck. Trunk. Outside of the room. You can get it after the fight. Let the fight begin. Good luck to you, Cheezarella. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Well. I will kick him in the groin. Yes! <laughs> Self-defense, take that! <laughs> Ow. Ow. Stop! Whoa, 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 computer, what are you doing? Kick him in the... Kick him in the head? <laughs> No, kick him in the groin again. <laughs> Your ancestors have deserted you. Stop it, computer! What are you doing? It keeps minimizing. I hate that. You see a young man with bulging muscles and a very confident air about him. Boot him to the head. Alright, alright. Oh, I missed! <laughs> That's right. That's what happens when you try and fist fight with Cheezarella. She kicks you in the balls. Repeatedly. Hopefully Bloody Mess doesn't get <laughs> brought. <laughs> Ugh, I got a hair in my mouth. Alright, let's see if we die. Damn it, I'm missing now. I can't have that. Ow. Oh, we're dead. Oh, rip. Rip, Cheezarella. I've died. Your quest to find the Garden of Eden and return it to your village Game has over. failed. Also, a corpse hatch in the first game. I... I there was a thing, like, if you shoot people in the groin, it's much more effective than shooting them anywhere else besides the eyes, I think. I think it was the eyeballs and the groin. So I was just doing that, like, all the whole time. <laughs> oh, it was pretty brutal, man. It's pretty brutal. You can throw your spear on the ground before talking to him in cheese combat. Oh, wow, that's, that's cool, but I won't do that. I'm gonna beat him in a fair combat. All we need to do is get lucky with the dice rolls. I do not fear you. Ow! Um, how come now I can't punch? Or I can't kick now? What's that about? Punch him in the groin. Punch him in the groin again. Ugh! <clears throat> okay. Uh, so far, not going so well, but let's just keep aiming for the crow. <laughs> I guess. Welcome back, Silverleaf. Ah, I. Oh, right. Oh, right, right, right. I was pressing the wrong button. You're right. Sorry. All right, let's try. Oh, God. No, no. Nyeh. I wanted to aim. Oh, butts. We're gonna, we're gonna lose again. God. Your ancestors have deserted you. All right, there's there's like literally no way we're gonna win, but I'm gonna try anyways. Can I kick him in the eyeballs? <sighs> oh, Done. help! Oh, okay. You have died. Bleh. You are a failure. You didn't save your vault because some guy kicked your ass in a temple. 
I can do this. I wish I had some drugs. I wish I could rest. That would be nice. <laughs> Use the force. <laughs> Keep your distance and Hadouken him. I could try backing up. The thing is, like, I get more AC if I don't use all of my AP, so it's like, uh, I feel uncomfortable watching the stream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kick him in the eyeballs. Dodge his foot. <laughs> I'd like to remind you that this guy just murdered the person who's going out to literally save his hometown. Yeah, what an asshole, right? Like, don't you know my quest is very awesome and noble and you should just let me through? At least, at least, like, don't kill me. God. All right, let me try, um, I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick him in the eyeballs. No, there's, there's such a low chance to hit him in the eyeballs. The head, though. If we could get some head shots, maybe. Okay, let's try running away instead. Okay. Uh. See, the thing is, I need, like... I'm gonna need a, a, some lucky big hits. I could try and, like, cripple him. Kick him in the leg or something. Or the arm. I just want to see how much damage it does if I actually hit him in the head. It's not working at all. <laughs> Can you put one of those bombs next to his foot and tell him you'll BRB? <laughs> I don't have another one, but that would be funny. You can use your first aid skill. Technically, if he wins and he gets to go save the village. Oh. All right, sorry I was reading chat there. Um, six points to the balls. Uh, Dark Light, hello there. Check out Fawn Line. It's a multiplayer based on Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Interesting, interesting. I don't usually play that much, many multiplayer games, but that could be neat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Stop missing! You suck! Our children know more of battle? Wow, what a jerk. Oh yeah, that was, sounded like a good one. Oh, okay, it wasn't. <laughs> Glory in battle buys life everlasting. I don't know. Clearly, I just do not have very good aim or he's blocking. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> I'm gonna reload. Alright, so I can use first aid. Um, let's try that, I guess. I thought I needed a first aid kit for that, but apparently not. Hey, it works. So that is five. Okay. You can play solo. Some servers don't have many playing, but even the popular one finding someone in the counter is rare. Oh, cool. You can talk your way through this combat? That'd be cool. How would you get... Did I not tag... Did I tag speech up at the in the end? I did. How would you get higher speech than this at this point in the game, though? That's what I would like to know. Isn't that the highest possible? <laughs> he has teeny tiny balls, probably. They're very hard to hit. I am too tired. The strain might kill me. Okay. That's all we're gonna get. So, let's save again. Uh, under cheese. Oh, right, charisma. Like, if I got a ton of charisma and then took speech as a tag skill. Love Emmy hated Andromeda. You know, oh God, I don't want to get into the Andromeda thing, but like, I don't know. 
I kind of feel I didn't hate it, but it's just kind of the Okay, um anyway, <laughs> I saved. So, let's try doing this again. I think I'm ready, friend. Maybe my perception is healed as well. I'm not sure. Oh, I can use the doctor skill too. Oh. Okay. I'll try if I fail, I'll do that next time. All right. Let's just kick him in the torso. Punch him in the torso. Maybe this will just work. Ow. Oh! One hit point, though? Okay, that was weird. I don't know why my computer is doing that. Or if it's the game? Very odd. Punch. Punch. Aw, oh, fudge. I keep missing! <sighs> Stop! Seriously, what the actual butts? What is doing that? This guy is seriously getting on my nerves. Like, whoa. Okay, doctor skill? The game is not freezing, it just keeps like switching to another program for some reason. This is the Steam version though, it's updated and it's optimized for later operating systems. So it should be working. Did I? I'm not at max, right? I'm pretty much at max. Can I use this again? No. It's like, no, you can't. How long has this guy been sitting around there waiting for you to show up? I don't know. Apparently, it's his only job. I'm kind of thinking, I'm tempted to cheese the game, honestly. <laughs> but, like, is this, is this only easy if you take melee skill? Can I, can I, like, steal from him? <laughs> can I sneak? I gained one perception. Am I sne I'm sneaking, so I'm going to try stealing from him. What is that? What the hell is that? Oh, it's the key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Yay! Ah. <laughs> uh. That's great. Level up! Woohoo! You see a battle door. You passed the trials of Arroyo. You have gone up a level, you gained 600 experience. I still have the key, too. <laughs> I'll keep it forever as a memento. You should have kicked him in the balls as you left. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> oh god, what a jerk, seriously. They worship a vault jumpsuit. I think they're worshipping the vault dweller's jumpsuit from the previous game. <laughs> but that is a little weird, you're right. Alright. <laughs> Saving. Arroyo? Arroyo, like that. There we go. We got some sweet tribal music going on. I assume the sound levels are fabulous, or someone would have yelled at me already. Yeah. 
He used too much of that powder. Yeah, he totally did. He used all the healing powder from, and that was why that chest was empty because he took it all. And then he had zero perception. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to bump up small guns. Oh, throwing. Speech, I guess. I guess I should. I'd like to get. We'll get speech to 50 and then I'll probably. I'm gonna do small guns some more. I'm sure I'll get a gun pretty soon, so. Oh, you need coffee? Oh, yeah. Go stock up on that sweet, delicious beverage. I'm gonna need a refill soon. It's almost gone. Honestly, seeing me play this makes me want to reinstall it, but playing it with the slow turn base is annoying. You can speed it up, though, which seems seems pretty cool. Combat speed doesn't seem that bad. All right. So. Uh, let's just, um, wait, why do I have a jumpsuit? Okay, well, let's talk to Granny. Congratulations, Chosen One. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? I forgot to get your coffee? Why? Go get it. <laughs> what if they were mastering the original two games in a modern engine? That'd be so cool. I would love Fallout 1 in, like, in, in a modern engine. Although, I, there's nothing wrong with this type of game the isometric gameplay is great i love it as well but it would be cool in addition to it ah uh, i'm ready of course um were, were you doing trying to get me killed in the temple like what the hell was that guy's problem you survived the chosen one cannot be weak or we are all doomed are you prepared for your quest it did seem a little bit extreme though don't you think grandma i mean Whatever. If I'm the chosen one, why would you want to just kill me off? <laughs> um, you speed it up all the way every time you tried to play? Oh. Wasteland 2 engine? That'd be cool. Would you ever consider playing Pillars? Yeah, I would. I started playing that game and I got overwhelmed by all the rules and like how different it was. And so and then I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I just quit. <laughs> and I never went back to it. Also, it's kind of long, isn't it? So I haven't let's played it yet, but maybe maybe someday I'll try it on a stream. It is a game I want to play. She sounds like a hairless Khajiit with normal speech patterns. <laughs> um, I've passed the test. Of course I'm ready. I'm not going to get myself killed. Being a coward will kill us all, <laughs> including you. Wow, she means that. Trials. We have faith in you. We need you. Fine. Then take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Holy Vault? Nick, a trader in Klamath brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Here. Money? What is this money? Isn't there more you can tell me? What do you need? How do I get... Where's Vault 13? The Holy 13? I cannot help you. Only the Vault Dweller knew. His tales have the sound of a perilous journey. Looking Glass Studios is sort of black back under the name Other Side Entertainment and they're making the next sequel. Ooh! First of all, I love... Looking Glass Studios, but secondly, I think I saw like a video of gameplay for a demo of that, and it looks badass. Like it was really early on, but it looks really cool. Hooray, hurrah! If that's the same thing, anyway, I think it is. It must be right. I hope it is. Anyways, I see there is much I need to know. What do you need? Tell me about the get. It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation kit. Uh-huh. 
The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More? I do not know. There's more I want to know, Elder. Help me. What do you need? How do I get to Klamath? Klamath is to the east. There are other things I would learn. What do you need? On second thought, I don't need any help. <laughs> Can I steal from you? Can I <clears throat> set up another quick save slot? Blah. Okay. Can I take this? Cool. I can. All right. Bethesda announcing new IP stuff today at E3. Oh my god! So excite. Much excite. Uh, a fruit and a knife. Sure. I can just take all this stuff, I guess. That's nice. Can I steal everything? Let's do another save. Like, Arroyo here. A big save. Bethesda should let Obsidian, they have most interplay stuff that worked on the Fallout, make a new Fallout. Oh god, I know. <laughs> I really, I, I, I totally agree with you. Hello? I hear a dog, is it dog meat? Is it dog meat? Chosen one, the way you use a spear, you'll be meat for the geckos in no time. I could show you a few tricks. Sure. You're a swift student. It looks like you've learned all that I can teach you. Thanks, Jordan. You see Jordan twirling his spear as usual. What? Did it give me skills? I don't remember what it was initially, but I think he leveled me up in melee. Talk to the guy by the well trying to fix it. I think there's a quest. Okay. I will lose my mind if they announce Elder Scrolls. I will lose my mind too, but I think that's going to be the next thing, right? It's got to be, because they just did Fallout. I think E3 is tonight, right? Isn't it later tonight? Yeah. Gave me 10 points. Holy crap, nice. What you got in your basket here, friend? Nothing? YOLO. Sound is good, right, guys? Could you hear? Can you hear the YOLO? YOLO. <laughs> okay, it's very dark now. Oh, guy by the well. Here we go. You see your nephew, Fergus, crying about something as usual. Well, please fix the well. <laughs> well, the well really needs fixing. Oh wow, what a crybaby! My God. I'll repair the well. There you go. Are you happy? You the one. <laughs> it's not like saying you the man, but it's like you the one. The well works fine. Alright, that was just pointless and weird, but thanks for the experience. Okay, where's this dog that's barking? I really hope Dog Beat makes an appearance in this game. Hello. Ah! Why does the earth before What the hell is wrong with you? Of your passing? Um I'm heading out. I was hoping just this once you'd talk like a real person. <laughs> Please reveal the clouded eyes. The purpose of your passage. Um you're just doing way too many chems. I'm out of here. No, I've come to I've, What do you got? Nothing? Fine. Uh, you're, you're doing way too many cams, dude. See you later. <laughs> Yay! Coffee! Woo! Congrats on your coffee. Corpse Hatch. That's great. Alright. Isn't there... What are these evil... What is that? Are those monsters? Hello. Cousin, I'm glad to see you. I need your help. What do you need help with? Smoke ran off into the hunting grounds and hasn't come back. And now Marlis won't let me go find him. 
She says it's too dangerous. And he's just a dog. But I, I was going to go anyway. But now that you're here, you could do it, and I wouldn't get in trouble. Sure, but where are the hunting grounds? What you do? Get hit in the head with a rock? They're on the far side of Hakun's, Hakunin's tent, north of the village. Okay. Yes, I will find your doggy do for you. Ooh, good question. I do cream. Just cream. Sometimes cream and half and half. I like creamy and strong coffee. Um, This is where I came from. So this is not the right north. Woof, 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 woof. It must be in here then? Oh! Okay. No? This is the... What? What? Where's Hakun? Is it this? this? It must be this. This. It gotta be this. Okay. There we go. Can I wait? This is this is too dark. I don't like it. I want to wait. There's... <gasps> There's geckos. There's geckos here. Do I not have a gun? I got a knife. A knife. <sighs> doop a doop doop doop. Oh, is Bella in the in the thing? Did she did she stop by? My cat's name is Bella. Assuming you were assuming you were asking me. <laughs> um I hear a doggy. Where is he? Is he trapped by geckos? It's so dark. Hello? I don't like this. Are these guys strong? Let's try throwing, throwing spears at him. 7%. Oh. <laughs> Punch. Uh. Okay. Let's see how, oh God, the other one's coming. I'm screwed. I think, I guess, yeah, I guess Bella made an appearance. I didn't see her, but of course, I'm not looking that direction, so. Take that, stupid gecko. This is not gonna go well, I can tell already. I can tell already. He's wounded, though. He's wounded. They don't hit that hard, I guess. He's severely wounded, guys. Stop. I'm probably gonna reload, just FYI. But I need my spear. <laughs> That's probably true, Silverleaf. Yeah, I should I should really try kiting more. Almost dead. I guess I could punch once and then uh run away. Yeah, I've said that I missed it too. The darkness. I actually never... Actually, I think I played the first game when I was younger, but... I never really knew how cool the Fallout series was until after Fallout 3 came out. 
Because I feel like that's the first time it was actually, like, widely advertised. So that's probably how a lot of people found out about it. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Okay, let's go down here and try and take out this, um, gecko. Or else we could just, could just sneak past. Maybe. I don't see a doggy. He's probably up here by the... Oh, there he is! I found him! I could try a knife. Knife. Hmm. Oh, I got past him. Can we just go? Oh. Well, okay. Auto run disable sneaking. Oh, crap! Oh, well. <laughs> That's good to know. I went to Baldur's Gate Never in a Night's Route with isometric games. I actually did the same thing, Corpse Hatch. I played... Neverwinter Nights was one of the first RPGs, I, serious RPGs that I played. Hello, doggy. It's a doggy. Hello, Smoke. So is he gonna come with me now? Yes, he is. Okay. Is he gonna help me fight the stupid lizards? Or geckos or whatever they are? Are they not actually hostile? I'm confused. Oh. I guess they're not hostile. Oh, I just tossed my knife in there. That's cool. Alright, come on, doggy. I guess we'll just leave then. If we don't have to kill these geckos, then let's not kill the geckos. Let's just get a freaking gun! It's nighttime, so they can barely see me. But I, I was literally right next to him, you know? But I guess I'm just that awesome. Alright, hello. You found Smoke. Thanks, Smoke. You're a bad dog. Aw, oh, no he's not. Don't ever tell your dog they're a bad dog. I have to assign the quick slot again. At this point, see, this is my issue with this. It's not really a quick save, because you have to do that every single time. Unless there's another button for quick save, but like now I can press it and it'll quick save, but then it just resets every time. Alright, let's try doing some first aid and stuff. YOLO. You text, wait a while. Can I sleep? Can I sleep uh, in like one of these beds or something until the morning? Hello? So, there you are, the Chosen One. Hmm, how goes your quest? Pretty well. Maybe you need a warrior's help. What can you help me with? I know how to fight with fists and feet. Think you can learn that? Can you teach me? You know all that I can teach you. Oh, poo. Oh, I can use my Pit-Boy now. Aha! Yeah! Okay. Let's rest until morning. There we go. Fantastic. Kick him in his balls. <laughs> hardly, hardly are. Alright, save. Arroyo. So, these are like freaking out. These zone things. So what is, the, what is going on with this? Does anyone want to tell me why there's like hostile plants? No one seems to care. Oh, it's got reach. Do I have reach? I do. Oh, it's got actual range attack. Okay. Plants aren't just harmful to the garden. They also have the ability to attack humans and other creatures. Well, great. Why are they just sitting here in the garden? I'm sure there's a quest somewhere. Ow! I need some grenades. Oh my god, can you just freaking hit the thing?
damage. <laughs> Talk to the shaman. He gives you a quest. Okay. Well, he did not give me a quest when I talked to him. Greetings, Chosen. Hello. Why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? I'm hurt. Can you hear me? Thank Chosen, you. Once again, the wholeness of your being is like a land blessed. You mean I'm better, right? Please reveal to clouded eyes. I'm leaving on a holy quest. Sings with the news of there the we go. Upon the land. Perhaps before you go, you would bestow a kindness. <laughs> Gardening in the wasteland is tough. It is. What do you the need? Plants of dark soul have infested my garden again. Yeah, yeah, Many yeah. Many seasons have touched my bones, and I am too frail for the fight, which is eternal in nature. I ask that you be my champion. I'm a future leader of this tribe, and it would be undignified for me to do your gardening for you. <laughs> Did you just ask me to weed your garden, if that's the case? Okay. May the gods bless your efforts, Chosen. May your aura grace my presence when the earth breathes clean again. I take it you want to see me again when I'm done. You could have just said that, you know. <laughs> I love the sarcastic responses. <laughs> okay. I do, do, do. All right, you're going down, plants. You are going down, down. <sighs> hey, you didn't do anything. Okay, well, this is working nicely. If I could ever hit the thing. Oh. Yay! Ow! No loot? Okay, fine. Fine. Gotta go to this square. You jerk plants. Oh my god. The <laughs> freaking hit chance. <sighs> One point of damage. They are jerk plants. Glad you guys see it my way. Uh, well, thank god there's only two of these to kill because holy crap, my character sucks at spears. Is it, it's severely wounded. Great. Now we need to go back and get healed. Hi, I'm almost dead again. Can you heal me? I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank Recon you very much. A sense of fullness that you yes, 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 yes. You're weird, I get it. Alright. I just need to hit it like two more times, man. Okay. Oh. It wasn't, it didn't attack me that time. Come on! One more time? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> if you manage to kill a power armor dude early, you can get his armor. Well, I don't really see myself accomplishing that, but um, that would be cool. <laughs> All right, I did it. Ah, you 
return the spirit of the dweller to the world and bring a smile to the soul of an old man in passing. For this, I give you powders of healing. Remember, they fog the mind as they cleanse the body. Is that how and you became such a freaking will I weirdo? Mix the brock flower with the zander root together whenever you bring both to me. May your pathways be true and your heart follow suit. Okay, but what does that do? Is that antidote? Where can I find these things? Look to the north, chosen, and the way will be open. You really like the voice acting? Yeah, he's pretty good. All right. Well, that was a good time. What else can we do around here? How about this lady? Hello, I hear you are the chosen one. Perhaps our village can be saved. Where can I find more healing powder? What can you tell me of the traders who trade with us? Oh, it's not my place to deal with the traders. Talk to Minoc, the guardian of the Great Bridge. He sees them all. Okay. Where's the Great Bridge? Good joke, chosen one. You know where it is. The way to the south. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was just kidding. I, 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 I totally know where it is. I know everything about this town. Everything. Hello, chosen one. Off to find the Gek? Yes, but before I go, I must ask you some questions. What can you tell me of the pit men who trade? The traders? They come from Klamath about every two months. There won't be another here for a month or two, but Klamath's only a few days east. What can you tell me about this object I have from the sacred vault? It looks like a metal water gourd. Maybe the vault sent it to us as an omen. Can you tell me who brought this item to our village? I don't remember his name, but that he was old and loud. Too loud for proper manners, but he knew many things. He was from Klamath, like I said. Wait, what item? What item is this that we're talking about? Is it this? I thought I got that because I... Oh, wait, are they talking about this? Because they're weird and think it's... <laughs> they think it's like holy or whatever, but it's just a water canteen. Alright, cool. Cool, cool beans, yep. They worship the flask. Nothing in there. Hello. Have you got anything I can take? No. Go see Hakun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I guess we're gonna leave then. I guess. I'm excited to get a gun and some armor. Oh, before we leave, let's have Dude Man heal us again. Speed up looting process, switch to another weapon and do it unarmed. Oh, good tip, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't have to go through the, the animation of putting my weapon away. Ah, chosen. Hello. My garden is well, how is yours? Oh, um, I don't have a garden. What the hell are you talking about this time? We all have gardens. <laughs> May your journeys act as tending. Be well. I must seek audience. I need you to heal me again. Is it? Ah, I'm not hurt chosen. enough. Is that why? My garden is well. How? Make healing stuff. Fine, fine. I'll just wait. <sighs> it better not be dark, or I'm gonna be mad. Ah, damn it. <laughs> All right. Now we'll save Arroyo. And we're going to leave. But first, I'm going to take a quick bathroom slash coffee refill break. It'll just be two minutes and then we'll be back. Do, 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 do. So, um, 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 BRB a second.
I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, everyone. I am back. Bella plans to take over the stream. Yes, she is going to come in here and kick me out of my chair. <laughs> Alright, I got more coffee. All is well with the world. Well, well. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Okay. Ready? Ready to go? To the place? Ready to YOLO. Alright. <laughs> We're going to the place with a weird uh, resolution. Are you still here? You must go find the Gek. Staying here doesn't help us. Uh, I will speak to you no longer, you insubordinate pig. <laughs> yeah, but I was wondering about your spear. It looks a little different. My father taught me to make stronger blades than most. Get me a piece of flint and I'll fix your spear too. Oh, where would I get flint? They say your aunt, Moralis, has been hoarding a piece. She's so ill-tempered. I don't think anyone asked her, of course. The witch will want something in return. Oh, God. Uh, what? Is this even worth it? I'm going to replace the spear in like two seconds. I'm leaving. I'm out. Peace out. Kick the bridge keeper in the ball. Oh my god, now I have to do it. Oh, I hate you so much, dude. <laughs> what? Where's my aunt? You're not my aunt. Is it the old lady? I don't think so. Oh, God. Chosen one? Why are you here? Because now I have to find Flint, okay? Oh, it's more expensive to sell. I guess so. What's that? Oh, a Xander root. It's a really fuzzy root plant that looks really disturbing. Do, do, do. Hello, are you my aunt? Uh, Minox said, Out with a child. You might have some flint. I do. You want some? Is that it? Well, yeah. Well, I want three doses of healing powder. Bad times are coming and I'm going to be ready. Bring them to me and you can have my flint. Uh, Aunt Moralis, I have three right here. Here's your flint. Fine. Great. I'll sacrifice my healing for some freaking flint. It better be worth a lot more. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's your flint. Okay. Here's your spear. Thank you. Great. That was fun. Okay. Goodbye, Arroyo. It's really trippy how the <laughs> the zone like areas are flickery. Arroyo. All right, let's go to Klamath. We're on the the world map. Vault Tech maps. No random encounters. Oops. <laughs> Let's if I can click on there we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, so familiar looking. All right, first I'm gonna wait till the morning. Cause screw night time. There we go. All right, save. Clement. Um, where am I? Oh, okay. So we're looking for some dude here, right? Ah, toilets. Vic! This is him, isn't it? 
Halo? Your experience in Arroyo never inspired an overwhelming desire to save it. <laughs> yeah, it really isn't that great, is it? <laughs> it's not. Like, Cheezarella is probably very excited to leave that pile of junk. Bathhouse. Ooh! Hello! My name's Big Nose Sally Dunton, and I'm the owner of this here bathhouse. I'm afraid that we just have girl bath attendants here. That's all right with you? Oh, I see. I was really looking for a guy. Actually, I wasn't looking for anything. I'm just here for a bath. I'm dirty. If you just want an unattended bath, you might try the garden, gecko, or the bunker house, but I doubt that you'll find that as enjoyable. <sighs> Fine. Jeez, what's a girl gotta do to get clean around here? You can loot bookshelves too. Mm -hmm. It's cause you're like the Tarzan of the Wasteland Noir, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wasteland Noir. Hello? Oh, hi. I was, I definitely wasn't trying to break into your house. Something happened there. Something... What? You see one of two very similar looking men. They could be twins. Both are heavily muscled and have beet beetling brows. Hello there. You're here to barter for some of the world famous Dunton's dry meat? Dry meat? That sounds interesting. Tell me more about it. Our dry meat is an incredible blend of elven, <laughs> elven herbs. <laughs> Eleven herbs and spices. Let me tell you, it's finger licking good. Animals love it too. They'll chase you from all over to get some. Must be that rotting smell. Ew. It sounds like you actually eat your own dry meat. Uh, what does it say? You wouldn't. Yum yum. Really? That's fascinating. Tell me more. It's not like anything that most people would eat. It's different, not better, just different. Okay. Uh, if I were starving to death, I'd rather hack off my own arm than eat, than eat it. Then you are damn dry meat. You just better push off, or my brother and I are gonna pound your little head into jam. <laughs> oh my god. I need some information. You better tell me what I need to know. What do you want from us? Either of you heard about something called the Garden of uh, Eden Creation Kit? You're looking for what? Close I ever get to the Garden of Eden is the lovely Jenny's arms over Ma's bathhouse. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, I don't like you anymore. I'm gonna leave. If you have a certain perk, you can write a book about your sex life. Really? Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. The Lusty Wastelander me. <laughs> Alright. Is this the, uh... The Golden Gecko. Hello there, stranger. Welcome to the Golden Gecko Tavern, Hotel and Trading Post. I'm Sajag. Something. I run this place. What can I get for you? Uh, no. I'd like to stay the night. I've got all kinds of things right here. Healing supplies, booze. All right, all right. Special sources? Then you should be able to give me a really good price. I'd like to make you one of my special friends, sweetheart. It's not that easy to get this stuff from the den. Tell you what, I'll give you a special price on what I've got. Yeah. All right, what does he got? Crappy spears. And what is that? Meat jerky. Stim pack, though. Stim pack. Ooh, leather. Okay. So how much will he give me for this? 100? You want this key? No. <laughs> okay. Didn't I pick up two knives? I don't know if I can... 
Do you want these? I guess so. I don't know if you can use those to make antidotes in this game. You can prostitute yourself in the next town we go to. Okay! <laughs> Get your character laid. I could. There's only girls in there, though. That's boring. But I guess maybe I could be... I could be... A lesbo. <laughs> Somehow that accidentally happens in, like, all my Let's Plays. So I might as well keep the trend going. <laughs> uh... I don't know, like, I want a stim pack, but just give me caps. Um. She kicks too many guys in the balls for that very bad business. <laughs> True, I'd have to hold back on the whole ball kicking thing. <laughs> that might be kind of hard. Thanks for your... 150 caps, friends. <laughs> Quite a knee-jerk reaction. Alright. So... Oh, the, the blades? Is this... Is this an actual reference to the old, to the last game, or is it different? Hello? Last thing I need is more like you. You know what, friend? I'm just gonna... Damn it. I'm gonna turn auto run off, because I do want to use sneak. I don't mind double clicking to run anyways. Sneak is one. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> Steal. I should probably save before I do this. Ooh, monies. I'll try and take it. God damn you, game. Why must you do this? Give me your money. Yeah! They added extra digits to currency window comparing to Fallout 1. Yeah, that's awesome! That was so annoying in Fallout 1. Holy moly. Is it possible to toggle run of the game without going into the menu screen? By double clicking, right? Is that the only way? Or to permanently turn it on? I don't know. That would be nice, like, to be able to turn auto run on and off. Or always run on and off, I mean. It's fine, though, but I do want to be able to sneak, so I think I'm going to leave it off. Probably what I ended up doing, actually, in the first game. I don't really remember, but... There's no one in here, right? Ooh! Guns and bullets, everyone, and Nuka-Cola. Hell yeah! Yeah! Let's do some reading. You learn how to handle guns better. What does Nuka Cola do? Does it just heal me? I can't remember. Oh god. Uh hello kid. It did definitely didn't just take your magazine. I'm not supposed to talk to tribals. Was he running away from me? <laughs> Hello! I haven't seen you in Klamath before. I'm Aldo, the town greeter. Hick, it's my job to greet anyone new in town and to answer any questions they might have about our bu- our bucolic little burg. Welcome to Klamath. Hick, what might you be? Uh, my name is Cheezarella Arroyo. I am the- of Arroyo, I am the chosen one. <laughs> be like super awkward. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the chosen one. Oh, mighty Cheezerella, you must be very important and powerful among your people. Surely one of your great uh, stature would be happy to follow our custom of tipping the town greeter. Erp. A tip, huh? Well, I guess it's worth five dollars. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to go against custom. You should give me a tip. Just so I won't take the time to rid Klamath of your filthy hide. Thanks for nothing. I hope you don't stay too long. We don't need your kind here. <laughs> I don't think he likes me, guys. <laughs> I'm the cheese in one. Yes. That's perfect. Hello, everyone. What's going on? Hope you like our city. I do. It's great. My name's Maida Buckner. I take care of trading and drinks here. I don't tolerate any tribals messing our family's place up, so you just better watch your step or you'll end up like Sulik. What do you want? What happened to Sulik? I have some questions for you. Well, get on it then. Talking to you doesn't get my work any closer to being finished. Tell me about Sulik. So looks a tribal that's working here to pay off a debt he foolishly incurred. He's not a slave. We don't have slaves here in Klamath. Paying off a debt? What do you mean? Well, you see, Sulik got real upset one night and had to, too much booze. Then when he was real good and drunk, he busted up the place. He did nearly $500 worth of damage just now getting the place repaired. Why did he get so upset? He said he found out that his sister had been kidnapped by slavers, but you'd have to ask him more about that. He's here until he can pay off the rest of the damage he did while he was drunk. How much does he have to work off? He still has to pay off 350 If he weren't so lazy and shiftless, it would go quicker for him. He's not leaving here until his debt is paid in full. That's a lot of money. I think he's going to be here for a long time. Well, he may be slow, but he does start to sort of grow on you after a while. Looks away wistfully. Flustered. Oh. <laughs> now that's enough jaw flapping. Do you need anything else? What if someone else paid Silik's damages? I don't know why anyone would want to pay off his debt, but if they could, his bill comes to three fifty. But you wouldn't want to do that. He only he'll only get in trouble again. Well, I'm sure there must be happy working for you folks. He must be happy working for you folks, but I still want to pay his damages. I guess you're right. I don't have that much money to spare. I don't like him having to stay here with a bigot like you all. I want to pay for his damages. I don't have enough, but I might eventually. Here what he is. can we and I do you for? Oh, hi. Who's we? The spirits with me, friend. They be all around. <laughs> Sometimes talk. <laughs> you love the Clue movie music intro. Sweet. I love when people know what it's what that's from. Clue is one of my favorite movies ever. Solik has rather big affinity to hammers. Oh, like sledgehammers? What spirits? Spirits be everywhere. Oh, really? Travel with we and I. Grampy Bone do most of talking. Grampy Bone? <laughs> him strong spirit. Much honor carrying him. Wait, you mean the bone that's in your nose? Keep him close. Easier to touch his spirit. That's why he talk the most. Can I ask you something else? We and I know many things. Travel from great salt water to home of biting lizards. <laughs> it's a clip on. <laughs> All right, uh, tell me about uh, what are you doing here? Slave has got our sis. Don't think we have an information. Couldn't peep him. Got peeled. Drank like a fish. Spirits of anger and chaos pop out, and now we have to pay some coin to make it right. <laughs> Wait, you were looking for Vic the Traitor? Vic the Traitor, more like. Oh. Comes to village, says he knows about slavers. Tells us to come see him. We go. He ain't there. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if he's dead. Your sister was taken by slavers? Sis went trading at another village and never come back. We and I go look for her. Uh, what did you find? One survivor. Dude was in bad shape. Said evil warriors came with magic torches. Fire would lick tribe warriors and they'd go to the spirit. Does it seem a bit weird to you guys that he uses the word dude? Like, in his language? It seems a bit odd. What about your sense? The evil warriors 
tied up the rest and took off. Sis with him. Friend, we be finding her or die and trying. Or die and trying. Hmm. Sounds like slavers to me. Have you found anything else out about them? Me and I know they're slavers at Din. When we're free, we're out of here. Tell me about something else. I be glad to answer. Um. Why did you travel so much? Trader named Vic's supposed to be here. He be saying he know about slavers. We show up, didn't peep him. Get pretty hot. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. We didn't peep him. <laughs> Let me ask something else. I be glad to answer. He's not primitive though, because he uses the word dude and peep. <laughs> He's like a weird mix. Okay. Um, tell me about the Great Saltwater. The tribe's home is next to Great Saltwater. Two moons from here, friend. We and I be glad to get goals. The little dudes don't fight hard. It's the golden. They go through your leg like an old pipe stem. Golden geckos. We and I be glad to answer. Okay. What Local do information. What do you for? Ever heard of the Garden of Eden creation kit? Never heard of it. But Maida's been keeping us busy. Who's Maida? She's the boss. We pay off and go find sis. <laughs> he might be a dude brought from the future. <laughs> oh, man. I hope... I I wish there was, like, a strip club called the Golden Gecko. That'd be awesome. Or just, like, a nightclub or something. That would be cool. All right. Uh, tell me about something else. What can we and I do you for? There were some books set in college fraternity remaining in the aftermath. But didn't the, didn't the, the, you know, the explosion happen in, like, wasn't it supposed to be, like, in the 50s or something? Or the 40s? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they didn't have that language then, but who knows? Maybe it's different. What's going on in town? Oh, busy place. Bug men snatching cattle. Spirits walking. Smiley missing. But it's like a... But it was like a 1950s, like, era, right? You know? I mean, our, turn, like, it was the year 2077, but you know what I mean, right? It's like olden day style. Walking spirits, tell me about that. The canyon east of Herd area is supposed to have a walking, howling spirit, shaking the locals. Grampy Bone don't say a word, though. Grampy Bone, <laughs> interesting. You have more questions for Sulik? Who's Smiley? Oh, Smiley's a good hunter. Say he's looking for the golden gecko's nest. Didn't come back. Oh, Got he's dead. For Sulik? Tell me about Bugman. Thor be telling us about bugs that walk on two feet and steal Brahmin. Shook him up. Bugs. You have more questions for Sulik? I don't think so. All right, bye. So I could spend my money and pay off his debts, I guess. I don't really know why I would want to do that. Is he? Maybe he's a follower. It's supposed to be the future they predicted... In sci-fi in the 50s. Yeah, like everything ran on nuclear power and stuff like that. Which is cool. Is there anyone in here? This is... What? See the bones of a large two-headed cow. Dead Brahmin. They just leave their dead Brahmin meat? Is this locked? No. Take off. It is mine. Ooh. I'll just, uh, you know, don't mind me. Actually, I don't want to go out that way because I cannot get to anywhere else from there. Hey, quick save worked, everybody. Woo. All right. Oh, this place is the Golden Gecko. Haha! -ha. 
Uh, I could sell him more. Ooh. Oh, pipe rifle. How much do you want for that? Ugh. He didn't have that last time, did he? I don't think so. Forty for one knife. Nice. That means I could pay off that guy. How much is jerky worth? Eh. Okay, I'll sell that unless it does something cool. Oh, he doesn't have enough monies. Just give me your, just give me your 50. Wow. Talk to tribal looking guy outside bar. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you. Tribal looking guy outside bar. Okay. Well, this is the bar, right? Where? Where's tribal looking guy outside bar? This guy? Oh, 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 oh. Me, Tor. Nice to meet you, Tor. Anything interesting happening lately? Bugmen take Moo Moo's at night. Tor scared. Help, Tor? <laughs> uh, sure, Tor. I can help you guard the Brahmin. You help, Tor. Moo Moo's field. Point east of here. Now, yes. Smiles. <laughs> that was not the right way to read that, by the way, but it's fine. It's funny. I'll help you guard them now, Tor. Ah! Okay. Oh my lord! What? They could be twins. Both are heavily muscled and have beating brows. Oh, okay. Help. Well, do I have my weapon? I have two daggers. <laughs> Talk like that if you have low end. Yeah. 50! Oh boy. Maybe it'll attack. Oh, it didn't attack me. Okay. I'll just. I'll just poke at it, you know, for a while. Ow. It poisoned me. What a jerk. Two. I wonder if I could punch it and be more successful. Yeah, you could- you mind helping there, Tor? You mind, uh... Helping, you know, a little bit- ooh, crit! There we go. You don't have enough action points. I mean, if I'm gonna cure myself, I might as well wait. Taurus is busy summoning thunder. Oh boy. So do I have to kill all of these rad scorpions? <laughs> because I'm gonna need fireball or something. Hey George, what's up? Tor learned the letter H. He's being very not helpful and I don't know like how long I need to stay here. Okay, I'll talk to these guys. What the heck are you doing here? You here to help us or not? We might have a job for you if you're interested. I'm interested. Well, there's one thing that we could use some help with. Heh heh heh. What's that? Okay, here's the deal. We need some help in uh, liberating some Brahmin from that idiot Tor. You can try and talk to him about the Brahmin or knock him out. Just don't hurt him too bad or it'll stir a ruckus. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. You guys think I should be a jerk? I mean, 
I do steal from people already. <laughs> so it wouldn't be that far-fetched. I do like this kind of option in games. Be a hero? But this is so boring. Everyone does that, Silverleaf. <laughs> they have nothing. Nothing to offer. <laughs> they have goo to go. Yes. <laughs> Be Weevil. I demand ruckus. <laughs> Alright, I'll take care of Tor. Sorry, Silverleaf. <laughs> uh, he's got a very blank look on his face, apparently. Evil Vegan Fallout Edition. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so can I just, um, like, punch him? Or, like, what? What do I do? Oh, it doesn't tell me anything in there. Tor like Cheezerella. Tor think. Bugman bad. No let Bugman eat Moo Moo. <laughs> I, I, I know we can put a stop to these things attacking you, your Moo Moo's. Uh, I mean, Brahmin. I don't think anything would attack with both of us here. Actually, I'm here to harm you. I saw some Bugman just on the other side... Oh, warn you. I just saw some bugmen just on the other side of the rock. As a friend, I'll watch the moo moos for you while you run for help. Tor, go get help! Tor scampers off into the night, leaving you alone with the moo moos, uh, Brahmin. Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I did it? Hey there, pal. That sure was a sweet job we pulled on that dumb ass Tor, huh? Uh, let me get your cut of the action. What we did made me ashamed of myself. Cheating an idiot? Why don't you cowards take as someone who can defend themselves for a change? Goodbye. Uh, I'll take my cut. Okay, here's the cut. And a little something extra for you as well. A few sticks of Dunton's dry meat. Blah. Blah. Not eating that. Okay. So how do I leave now? Do I have to go through all the scorpions to leave? What house is down here? <laughs> Don't kick the bulls? What? What is... What is this? Oh. Rad scorpion limbs. Is this Tor's house? <laughs> well, guess I'll just rob him while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, back in town. That was that was an interesting little uh deviation. Anyways, um, so Vic is not here. Ooh. A deck of tragic cards. Collectible card game. Looks like it could be an expensive hobby if you got hooked. Some water from Vault 13. Holy number 13 is emblazoned on the side of its precious link to your people's past and hopeful future. Some booze and some Nuka-Cola. Yes, more holy relics. Oh my god, what is that kid doing? He's just like sprinting around. It's a mock Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Tragic the Gathering? Oh my god, that's great. Holy crap! Oh, 
I'll take all that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is this a small gun? Pipe rifle's totally a small gun, isn't it? Maybe? Maybe, baby. And a stim pack. All right. Sweet. <laughs> Zacks need food and beer. <laughs> Later, Zacks. Thanks for watching, dude. All right. See you later, Corpse Hatch. We shall be streaming for a while longer, friends. So don't feel bad if you need to go get uh, some nourishment. The newspaper machine it was empty. It looks like it once held adult magazines. Of course it's empty. All right, I guess we'll continue exploring. I should save after I got all that stuff. Where's my character right now? Why won't you go that way? There we go. Toilet! There's some leaves dropped into the hole to manage the odor. <laughs> leaves? It looks like a chair you would see in a mortician's office. Dead. <laughs> what? Okay. So this is the end of the map up that way. So this is, is this all of uh, Klamath? Oh, we can go this way, okay. Did I go in here already? I think so. Oh yeah, I stole all her stuff, okay. Uh, right. There's nothing here but geckos! Is that a golden gecko? Oh. But I have a gun now. Black Isle. Yes. Black Isle is, was amazing. Amazing. So, see, like, what is the point of this, you know? Like, should I go down here? Is there another way to go after this? Or am I, do I, do I just not get to know where Vic is? Do I get to figure it out somehow? Part of the town to the west. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can kill a gecko. Can't shoot him in the eyes. Shoot him in the body. Or I might as well just be punching the guy. Is this not a small gun? There's kind of a quest log, yeah. Oh. Should have done that on my last turn, really. Six points of damage. He's gonna get me! It's just a very crappy gun. Oh. Reload. Run away. I said run. Oh god. <laughs> I 
All right, let's try shooting him in the eyeballs. Ah, 20. Groin 50. Headshot. What? Three points. Okay, fine. Ow. I'm just leaving. I'm gonna leave. Can I not? Because I don't have run on, it's gonna make me walk in combat. Ugh. It is a very crappy gun. I need I need me a ten millimeter. Yeah, I guess I'll turn combat speed up more. Fine. Affect player speed. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I'm so fast. <laughs> All right, bye. Sorry to shoot you. Aha! There it is. Okay, okay. Um, and as far as... Oh, what is this? As far as our... Quests go... This is kind of the quest log, so retrieve the Gek. Find Vic the traitor is what we're currently trying to do. That's, I guess, completed because I... It's weird, though. BB gun is the best. <laughs> yeah. It's super good. What does that say? Trapper Town. What are these people doing? Hunters. Trappers. Trapper Town's got bigger rats every day. Some even stand erect. Like rat men? Mm. Why are all the children crazy and running around with their arms flailing in the air? Graffiti. Hello, friend. Only one kind of good tribal, and that's a new, 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 new. Well, how rude, sir. You're just like the Duntons. Am I? I don't like this part of town. Totally not suspiciously looking car there. What? This one? What's suspicious about it? What am I missing? This one? <laughs> Isn't that what children do? Yeah, I guess so. I haven't seen too many of them like with their arms flailing around in the air though. Near the entrance. So this one? It looked, oh. Can I do something with it? Can I even get there? Where's my character? Go where I tell you to go. Oh, guns. I need guns. Oh. Okay, I can't get there. It's one of the car parts you need to get your own car, only accessible by sewers. Ah, yes, sewers. All right. Where's the sewers then? Where's the sewer thing? I guess I should explore up here first. I am looking for Vic after all. So, but I can't get anywhere else. Is there a sewer entrance in this building? Hello. I'm gonna rob you, is that okay? All right, you don't have anything. I 
can't get there. What about... Can I go here? No. I could maybe get through here. If I can lockpick these doors. That one's not locked. Great. I have a feeling this one is going to be locked. Yes, yes. Oh, which one is lockpicked again? Two! You fail. You fail. You fail. Yay, I picked it. Just keep trying. Eventually you get it. What is that? Is that nothing? No. I don't- I'm trying to interact with the door, not the trash. God, game. Alright. I want to go to the gun store. <laughs> there might be rats in the sewers. I have a feeling you might be right. Nothing there. But there are lockers. Is there anyone in here? Like, what? No one? Game, you're so silly. Why? I said I want that one to be quick save, and I'm 100% sure I always want it to be quick save. If you've had too bad lock picking skill, you might jam the locks. So it will never be fixed. So I'd suggest saving before lock picking. Oh, okay. Rubber boots. <laughs> Such good loot. Ooh. So why is there no one in the gun store? Maybe it's a different building? Hello? Ooh, hello. Aww, that's so disappointing. Why? Why you do that to me, game? Hey look, there's rats even before we get to the sewers! That's so exciting! <laughs> Ra! Gwa! Rubber boots prevent you from getting toxic damage when you walk over puddles, which you might need for one quest. Okay. I will keep one pair then. Really? Really? Oh. Oh, oh. Of course. <laughs> I need to reload. Whoops. Okay. Well, we missed the bloody mess kill there. Okay. <laughs> it just says killed. I, I love when it has like a really... Uh, descriptive explanation of how they die. <laughs> the surface rats? What kind of RPG is this? Oh, okay. They get destroyed. <laughs> oh, God. This gun sucks. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, everyone. You can watch all these rats get exploded into five million pieces. <laughs> Except that one, he survived. Good job, Mr. Rat. Oh, I'm glad your day is going okay, George. Thanks for coming to the stream, by the way. Oops. God, why? <laughs> How is this gun doing that damage to these rats? Like, 
How is that even possible? <laughs> I watched someone LPing Fallout 2 and he actually bought this gun. Imagine his feelings when he found out how bad it is and you get one for free. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, that that would make me very sad too. There's more rats, isn't there? Thought there was one more. Maybe not. Oh, yep, there he is. Hello, ratty. You are now very, very, very dead. All right, onwards. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. <laughs> so gross. Seriously wounding it and knocking it around. <laughs> knocking it around in every direction all at once. Bit me. You can see the amount of rats when you look at the yellow silhouettes. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Can I shoot that guy? Got him. <laughs> you adore the brutality. Well, good, because there's going to be plenty of it. <laughs> there's a lot of rats in here. Oh, I missed! Oh, no! There we go. Can I just... No. If there is a hotkey, I don't know what it is. Hello? Ratties? I wish I could throw a grenade in there and kill all these ratties. Oh, he survived! Not anymore! This is like... Uh, this is taking a, lo a long time <laughs> with, with this gun. F1 might bring up help menu. Oh, it does! Look at that! Okay. Um. Doesn't look like there is one. Oh, well. Hello. Oh, I just walked past a rat as well. Bring it on. No problem, George. Glad to have you here watching. Or semi-watching. At least it only takes like a couple AP to reload. How much XP do you think we're going to get for all these rats? <laughs> Probably not that much. They're just rats after all. I 
we done? Jeez. <laughs> the Windingo. Spacebar access switch turn. Oh, okay, that's good. Can I have a few of those pills? Oh! There's a dead man! Is it? No. It's a not important man. Oh, here's the entrance to the sewers. What a surprise! <laughs> Let's go in. Definitely didn't think the game was leading us that way. Woo, go quick save. Alright. Get ready for more rat murdering, guys. But this time in a whole new atmosphere. Nothing there. So boring. So boring when there's no loot. <laughs> what is behind Dolma Mama? A desk and some bullets for more rat murdering. Hello, Mr. Rat. I'm sorry to have to do this to you. But I must blow you up into a million pieces. For some reason. <laughs> Annihilating. Yeah, that's that's accurate. Ratmosphere. <laughs> you came to the stream for the rat murdering. Well, you're in luck, friend. You will not be disappointed today. Today's stream is featuring rat murdering. Oh man, I can't wait till we're fighting like people and we get to do the bloody mess stuff. It's gonna be great. And I can't wait for even, the thing I can't wait for even more is to throw grenades at people. Generic George, thank you for following friend. Was that like a really delayed follow? I can start by cleaning up Klamath. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> could. That would be pretty evil. Alright, rats. Someday I will be rid of you. Maybe I could skip some of these rats. This is way more tedious than the beginning of Fallout 1, even. Is this anything? No? Anything over here at all? I don't see anything. Oh, oh, besides a rat. Besides a rat, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you, Mr. Rat. You can have your, your bullet as well. Everyone gets a bullet. There's plenty to share, don't worry. <laughs> Glad I was able to pull it together after the Mr. Rogers Marathon. <laughs> yeah. That was a... Uh, you know, a very emotional time. <laughs> Does it say that my... Oh, there it goes. It said I was offline for a second, and that freaked me out. What is Twitch doing? There's one grand knife there. Oh. Oh man, the Lilia merch. If I ever get to that point in my channel where I'm like big enough to make merchandise, it's gonna be so fun to design that stuff. Is that it? Aha! A knife! Oh. 
got another knife. Cheese hats for everyone. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like buy a bunch of cheese hats and that's gonna be the merchandise. <laughs> no. Are you dead? Oh, you survived. You are one tough ratty. I guess I'm getting in lots of practice for when I have to kill things that are more difficult than rats, right? Guess I should think about it that way. Hello? There's some, uh, radiated barrels up there. Which I kind of want to investigate. Did I miss? Oh, blast. That's fine. <laughs> That's a spoon? I don't know about that. Noify spoony? No, I don't actually know what that reference is. What is it? No one is attacking me, but I'm still in combat. Oh, there we go. I have meast. What a coincidence. Reload! Oh, he's running away! He's like, no, don't kill me, I'm just a ratty. Is that something? A wood support, okay. Empty barrel has nuclear trefoil symbol painted on the side in bright yellow paint. But there's nothing in it? Okay. But what if I want to get radi- What if I want to be a ghoul? I want to eat the radiation. This game is so restricting, God. <laughs> okay, are we finally done blowing up rats now? Are we finally... Have we finally had enough bloodshed? Probably not. Let's go down and get more bloodshed, shall we? Hello. Did you hear about how I was giving away bullets? Upstairs and you got jealous? Well, don't worry. I have more bullets. Ow. I hope I hope I have more bullets. <laughs> Not exactly sure how many I have left. But I did get a bunch more recently. Hey, level up. Killing the rats made made up for a time in the end. It was all worth it. Grinding rats. <laughs> Okay, let's do a save before we level up. Rats for days. This is a very extreme rat sewer level. Oh, look! It's a mole rat! It's not just a rat, it's a mole rat. It's the upgraded version of a rat. All right, ooh, a perk. Uh, here and now? What is here and now? This perk, you immediately gain one experience level. Oh, that's cool. Is that something that's worth taking? Reduce darkness level by 20%. That could be cool. You have learned to pack your equipment better. Accessing your inventory only costs two action points. That could be very useful, especially if I'm going to be throwing a lot of grenades and stuff. You have learned to increase your dialogue options without understanding what you're talking about. <laughs> Each level of this perk will increase your intelligence by one, up to ten for purpose of dialogue only. Okay. You're much less likely to be knocked down. Combat. You're in 
Indeed, a swift learner, and this perk, uh, as each level gains you additional 5% bonus whenever you earn experience points. This is best taken early. Should I take that right now? It's early. Here and now is Suvis useless due to the level 20 cap. Oh. Have newer versions increased the cap? I doubt it. Swift learner is good. I kind of want to take it. Blood as a thief runs through your veins. With the thief perk, you gain a one-time bonus of plus 10 to your sneak lock pick, seal, and trap skills. A well-rounded thief. I probably will take that too eventually, but... Looks like that's all we have to choose from. I think I'm going to take Swift Learner for now. Just because we should just grab it. Then we can level up more and faster. And stuff. It's going to be great. Ugh. All right. Um, small guns, I guess. I'll keep bumping up. Got to get that chance to hit, man. Throwing. Maybe first aid, too. Uh, let's just get guns up. That's going to mean our survival, you know. All right. God damn it, game. Uh, oh, what headphones are these? Uh, Sennheiser? Yeah, Sennheiser. You can see, I think. They're pretty good. I like them because I can still hear everything around me as well. They're not noise canceling, which, you know, could be good for certain or bad for certain people. And good for other people, but I really don't like the super noise canceling ones. Hello, Mr. Mole Rat. You will die just like all your ratty friends, except for I don't have very much HP left and I just noticed this now. <laughs> oh yeah, you are very dead. Okay, good. I need to uh, apply some first aid here to myself before I get too far in. Skills in Fallout 2 go up to 300. Oh, wow. Okay. Now I want to play Fallout 2 as your level of whatever or whatever right now. Yeah, I think we're level 3. This is my character right now. So far, so good, I think. We're not doing too bad. Cheeserella. Cheese rel. <laughs> Cheese rel. <laughs> Thistles, SMGs, and rifles. Yeah, that is. Okay, good. Um, so, what was I just gonna do? Oh, yeah, I gotta heal myself. First aid, which is five, and I always forget. I do have a stim pack, but I don't really wanna use it unless I have to. I keep failing. Fail, first aid, fail. I gained experience for honing my skills. Oh, I'm not, I'm done, okay. Let's try, see if we can get any HP from doctor. No. I think doctor might only do like crippled limbs or something. The headphone names are, are Sennheiser. Right? <laughs> yeah. Sennheiser. Oh, hello, Mr. Ratty. Another mole rat over there. Reload. Where am I trying to get to exactly? You know what? I should kill the mole rat. I bet it's got more experience than a lowly rat. <laughs> the tough pig rat. Pig rat was critically hit for 15 hit points, seriously wounding the rat, knocking it around, and then it was dead. 
I've never heard of a pig rat before in this in these games. Is that a Fallout 2 only thing, or was that also in Fallout 1 and I just missed it? I just missed it. That's a mole rat, I guess. Such a sad as a King kill wait a second. Can you talk? What? You see a large albino mole rat with an enlarged brain case. He's frothing at the mouth. Oh, it's an intelligent mole rat thing! Kill it! <laughs> he was critically hit for five. Oh my god, he's the rat god? What? Run away. Oh, he's not chasing me, though. Oh, yeah, he is. King crack boons you, bones you. Okay, whatever you say. Your aim is blocked because... It's fine, it's fine. Just keep going. There's another stupid mole rat chasing me. I don't know what that means. Someone in town gives a quest to kill it? Oh, well, that's okay. It's fine. Let's shoot it in the everything. The groin! Head 46, not bad. Let's try it. Missed! Uh oh. <laughs> Kabaheen, thank you for following, friend. Pardon me while I battle this rat god. <laughs> I better heal. It's five AP, huh? I can't even do that. Let's just run away. <laughs> run away! Is he. How hurt is he? He's wounded. Do I have a better chance to hit? Okay. 50% groin. Eyes. Eyes. Damn it! I need it. Oh. Oops. Tough pig rat was hit instead of the rat god. Oops. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to take some hits here. I'm going to die here. I'm gonna die here. Yes, I am. Goodbye, cruel world. Rest in peace, Hello. chosen one. Hello, friend. Friends that are new to the chat. Um, so maybe I should go back and get the quest or something, or maybe I should just not kill the rat god just yet. Maybe I should wait on that one a little bit. Can I just go this way instead? No, he's gonna kill me anyways. Do I have any drugs? No. What does this do? What does booze give me? What does Nuka Cola give me? Hmm. I should probably reload and not aggro the rat god. Could just go up that way. He's probably got treasures and stuff, though. He's got junk. I could sneak. <laughs> I'm gonna reload. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky! Ah, he found me anyway! I'm still sneaking, though! I'm still sneaking! You can't see me. You don't know where I am. Oh, he actually doesn't. Wait, does he? This is maybe a bad idea, because <laughs> I'm like luring him to my to the exit. I could have. Oh, I could have went around there and got into his stuff. You can't sneak past a rat with an enlarged brain case. <laughs> Hi, Will of Lava. Uh, I'll just loot this bookshelf while I'm here. 
There's nothing in it. All right. I'm actually gonna reload because I don't want to leave the rat god at the uh, at the exit. I feel like that's probably a bad decision, and I would just be making things horribly difficult for myself. So instead, let's just go around. And we'll deal with the rad god at another time. Maybe when we have a slightly better gun. Just slightly. Oh god. You are almost dead. You will die this turn. Especially if you choose not to do anything, which is very odd. But whatever. Anything over here? No? No. Hello! You missed. Oh, there's two rats here. You missed again. Oops. It's great when they die in one hit. It really is. And we have to assign another quick slot. <clears throat> we should probably save also. Under a big save. Rats for days. Not lying about that one. Why aren't you uh, coming to kill me, friend? Oh, there you go. I am sort of dying, but I should be okay, maybe? Ow! Ugh! Alright, well that was very close, actually. I got experience, but... I, oh, I have my sim pack. Does this give me HP? No? Did it bump up any stats or is it just for funsies? Can I eat this? That also didn't give me anything. Okay, so I guess eating and drinking does just does nothing. I literally just did this game. You are too tired. All right, I don't want to use my stim pack. Uh, fine. Be that way. Could have waited, I guess. I don't know if I can in here. Hello. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, especially because I missed. I really did not need to miss right there. I dropped it on the ground. Oh, did I? Oops. <laughs> Don't you hate when you accidentally drop stuff on the ground that you're trying to eat? Okay. That's, that's fantastic. Uh... But I need to not. Oh, God damn it. Damn you! I'm gonna shoot you in your eyeballs. Yes! Holy crap! That was so lucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Damn it. Alright. The rest is gonna be a little tricky here, friends, because we don't have any way of healing now. There's a locker down there, which I want to go get. I could still kill, like, a regular rat, but I'm 
very wary about anything else. Hey! All right, just what I needed. Woo! That'll do. <laughs> the ground in a rat infested sewer is totally hygienic. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Definitely someone comes in here and cleans it every day, you know. Alright, we're almost out. Another naked guy. You shall die. In the groin! Yeah! <laughs> A little bit weird shooting, you know, mole rats in the groin, but you gotta do what you gotta do to survive in the post apocalypse. Okay, that did not kill him. However, oh. He is. Oops, pig rat was hit instead of pig rat. What? The dead pig rat? <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Fantastic. Do I, I mean, I already started, oh, hello. There's one other pig rat over there. Yeah. Small gun skills showing itself. Anything over here at all? Besides a pig rat. Cookie, fruit, and iguana on a stick gives you HP, and Nuka Cola does nothing. It makes you addicted. Foodstuffs suck in this game. Aw, that's sad. I love Nuka Cola, though. Stuff. A repair bot. Oh. It's a robot? Interesting. Can I get more about it? He looks dead. <laughs> Great. So I picked up... Oh, I like how you can scroll in this menu. I don't think you could do that in the first game. I can use my scroll wheel. What did I pick up? I thought I picked up something. Hmm. Oh no, it was just... The looting thing, okay. Well, that was interesting. More coffee! Yes. Ooh! Yes, explosives! Dream come true. Do I have to use it right away again, or can I save it? It's locked. But never fear. Because I can lock the door? Maybe? <laughs> you know, actually... Oh, I jammed it. Oops. So does this mean I need to reload or can I blow up the door? I kind of want to try blowing it up. Oh. Try this. Does it, does that work? Doesn't even put a scratch on the door. You see a very sturdy door with a lock, which can be picked with lock picks. So I'll have to reload, right? Yeah. Unless, unless. <laughs> I don't think the game will let me do this, but I'm gonna try anyway, just for funsies.
Uh-oh. Oh, God. Where is it? Oh, God. Did I place it? I placed it already. Okay. Yay, it worked! Woo! <laughs> Explosives solve everything! That just makes me love this game. Wooden boxes are falling apart. Anything can be solved with explosives. Oh god, it's dark again. Okay, let's see if we can wait now, finally. Let's wait until the morning. Did we heal? No. Wait another day, probably, until we're healed. And now it's nighttime again. <laughs> All right. Finally. Yay. Oh, a new Coca Cola machine. Can I get more? You wonder if it still works. We'll try it. Can I open this? Not sure why I would want to, but, you know. So, okay. Now I'm on the other side. So now I can grab this part for this car. I wonder if you can die of old age. <laughs> I don't know, that'd be weird. You can do that in like the, the Might and Magic games. <laughs> you can use coin on some of the Nuka Cola machines. Ooh, I should try that. What did I miss in the cheese apocalypse? You missed nothing interesting. I was literally killing rats for like 5,000 years. Um, <laughs> kind of like how it's chrysalis motor car. Can I repair it? Looks as though this body's almost ready to rock. Just a few more turns on this nut. You jump back in surprise as the engine falls out of the car, collapsing into a pile of rust and component parts. Okay. Did I break it? What did I do? Um. Do I just not have the high enough repair skill right now? Probably. I'm gonna try using a uh, coin on here. Try around the trunk. Oh. Do you ever play FPS? Uh, well, yes, but there are many kinds of FPS games. I don't. So, which one do you mean? Why? It just makes it makes her do that every time. She goes around to one place. I can't take the engine. Uh, looks like there's a package on the back seat. Oh, can I, is there a specific spot I need to check? Can I open this door? Um, can I science it? <laughs> Save in case of, of scam? Scam? You mean, like, glitch? There we go. Oh, the new Coca-Cola machines, man. Just take the whole car. Just put the whole car in my pocket. I don't know how to take the car. Maybe I need, um, maybe I need like just higher skill. No. Yeah, let's go try the new cola machine thing. I'm curious.
Wait. Where did I? Oh, did I already take it? Is this what I got? This I must have took this right. It just didn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Yeah. Can't use the money. Can't use that money, honey. Didn't let me though. 